It's time once again for the Passion to Succeed podcast, where we explore the traits, mindsets, and attitudes of passionate and successful individuals. This show is for anyone who wants to make a difference, make more money, learn from the greatest minds, and discover how to be more successful in all you do and doing it with a pure passion to succeed. Here's your host, serial entrepreneur, successful author, and the world's most passionate master coach, Craig White. Hi, this is Craig White, and I want to welcome you to our new launch show for Passion to Succeed. You see, I have a belief, guys, and I believe passion is the key to achievement. You know, we hear time and time again, there's no secret to success. However, over my years as an entrepreneur, my years working in the network marketing industry, working with some sought-after leaders from around the world, discussing and interviewing people on previous podcast show, successwithcraig.com, My passion to succeed is what I believe has been the secret to all of my achievements. And I am I'm strong and passionate about the fact that every achievement in life, in every walk of life, from sport, from education to business to personal pride, I believe passion, our internal personal passion, is the key, the secret to each of our individual and collective achievements. It's that passion to succeed that counts. I consider myself to be a passionate individual. I have a passion to be my best and enjoy the journey. I understand, I believe that the power is about personal triumph. It's about succeeding in what we set out to do. It's about enjoying the journey and enjoying the rewards of getting things done passionately. One of the things I do, and I, and I live from the heart, I lead for the heart, and, and I believe that's where passion resides. It comes from living true to ourselves, and living true is living from the heart. It's releasing cynicism, I guess, and it's about being passionate in all we do. It's about being passionate to give value without need of compensation. You know, we hear it all, all around the world, you know, focus on the activity rather than the results, and this is the key to, I guess, maybe learning a new language or becoming an Olympic athlete or, 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 you know, maybe some kind of lifestyle change with what we eat and how we live or or maybe um, becoming a a successful entrepreneur and network marketer. But whatever it may be, we hear all the time, focus on the activity rather than the results. Do you know what, guys? I believe we have to do things because we love them. And I'm lucky enough to to have had amazing parents. And I remember my mum telling me years ago, She said, Craig, if you don't enjoy doing it, find something else to do. You have to love what you do. And I believe our life is for living. I believe we live in a world of of abundance. And I believe if we can find what we love doing, if we can be passionate about contribution in our field, whatever that may be, we'll never in theory work another day in our life. Because when you're passionate, when you're in love with what you do, When you're in love with what you do, you'll enjoy the moments of the day. You'll enjoy giving value without need of compensation. For many years, passion to succeed has been at the heart of all I do. And this show has developed from my previous podcast show, Success with Craig, something I love, something I was passionate about. But what I want to do now is to bring something far more passionate, a show that will bring you interviews and discussions with passionate people from around the world. You'll be able to discover habits and attitudes of those living with passion, those achieving with ease. Because I believe passionate people share some common traits. I believe passionate people have discovered how to consistently unleash their personal power, unleash their passion that resides within them into their marketplace to give value without need of contribution. I believe passionate people share seven key habits. And what I want to do is I want to share with you seven habits of highly, extraordinarily passionate people today. And hopefully you can learn to unleash these habits that I believe any one of us can learn. Many of us have these habits residing within us and it's about unleashing them into your marketplace, into your game, into your arena. So what are the seven habits of highly passionate people? 
Well, I believe passionate people are in touch with a deeper motivation. In fact, I'm a strong believer that actually our passion to succeed is what enables us to unleash our self-motivation. And self-motivation is most certainly one of the fundamental habits to be successful and passionate in all you do. In fact, it's our guiding principles and values that enable us to make important decisions and stay on track. Keep focused in attaining what it is we truly yearn for. What is it that drives you? What is it that drives us with passion and the endorphins that we're just absolutely buzzing? You know, them excited people, them little excited people running around, the endorphins, I like to call them excited people, bouncing around your blood flames as you unleash that passion and you feel the hairs on your arms stand up because you love what you do. And I believe passionate people are in touch with a deeper motivation, a motivation that resides from their internal passion to succeed, their internal passion to achieve whatever it is they yearn for. Secondly, I believe passionate people are focused and have learned to prioritize. You see, we know the human mind, um, it, it collects thousands and millions of of. Um, information coming in from all different um, avenues you know we see we hear we feel and we're constantly taking in all of this information however it's our executive secretary our habits our habits our executive secretary that funnels down all of this information into what's important to us and our personal beliefs so in theory our mind our unconscious mind prioritizes what's relevant to us today out of these thousands and thousands of pieces of information coming into us from all angles at all times of the day our unconscious mind prioritizes what's important well i believe passionate people are focused and have learned to prioritize what's important and in line with what they wish to achieve and where they want to go from where they are to where they want to be You see, to live with passion, you must be committed. You must be committed to the dream and focused on it with clarity and certainty. It's certainty that can really give you the confidence and the belief that uh, that you're going to achieve what you set out to. You know, it's always that, I guess, that philosophy, isn't it? If we were 100% certain of the end result. How focused would we be? How passionate would we be? How much would we put our heart on the lines if we were certain of the end result? Thirdly, passionate people are doers. Do you know what excites us? What excites passionate people isn't just talking about the dreams, the passions and giving value. It's about the doing. It's about the sweat equity. It's about that time spent in the arena, grafting at their passion, their trade, giving blood sweat and tears to the cause. Do you know it's that philosophy of making it happen? And over the years, many, many people have said to me, well, what do you mean by making it happen? What do you mean? How do you know what it takes to make it happen? Well, let me tell you, when the time comes, when you're enjoying the journey, when you're passionate about that graft, when you're passionate about giving that value, when you're passionate about trading blood, sweat and tears, for the cause. When the time comes to make it happen, you'll know what's required. You'll know what you need to do. You see, passionate people are devoted. The devoted will do all it takes to achieve their dreams and their passions. It's about that philosophy. You know, I was talking to some guys recently and I was talking about how do you know, if we started the journey of A to B today and we were looking to achieve like maybe X, Y and Z, would it be possible? Well, the sceptical side of us, the, the unsure side of us, the, the side of us that has fear of failure would probably say no. However, if you change the passion, if you change the reason why and if your life depended upon you going from A to B in the next few weeks, if your life depended on it, or that said, somebody you love, maybe your child or children, if their lives depend on it, it wouldn't take you a few weeks, it would take you a week. You see, when the reason why is big enough, the devoted will do all it takes to achieve their dreams and their passions. So what are you passionate about? You see, fourthly, passionate people expect the best. 
Do you know, I've learned something in life. We may not always get what we want in life, but we will always get what we expect. And something that really means a lot to me and something I've lived my life on for many years now is what I like to call the free ease. Energy, excitement, and expectation. You see, it's our energy. It's that blood, sweat, uh, and tears, that energy to go out and make something happen. It's that excitement, that, you know, that newness. And this is the key. You know, when we have something new, it's easy to be excited. You know, I've just ordered a new car. I've got to wait six weeks. Every single day, I'm like, oh, I'm really excited because I want it now. Because when you really, really want something, when do you want it? And that newness generates excitement. What we need to do is stay energetic, stay excited, and expect the best. Energy, excitement, and expectations. You see, passionate people expect everything to work out in their favor. They expect everything to work out in their favor because they love what they do. You see, failure, you know, that fear of failure or, or failure is also, made, but it's just part of the, the passionate adventure. It's just part of the experience. It's just part of the, the fun fueled journey of new experiences, new challenges. And it's about expecting the best. So passionate people expect the best and passionate people are happy. Passionate people are those kind of people that walk in and the light turns on in a room because they're happy. They give off a great vibe, a vibe of expectation and goodwill. The fifth point I want to share with you on today's show is passionate people understand the power of association. You see, whether you realize this or not, you're always, always being influenced from outside forces. And this is why we are some of the five people we spend most of our time with. Do you know, so it's about learning to disengage with those who drain you rather than radiate you. You know, the power of association, Anthony Robbins, many of you must have heard about this guy. You know, this, this guy was asked what he, he would, you know, consider to be the main contributing factor to massive, you know, astronomically massive success. And he said, the power of association. It's about looking to connect with others that share your vision, share your joy for life, share your will to learn more, grow more and become more. You see, positive people create and, and, and or even enter a supportive and, and inspiring, a challenging and an uplifting environment, an environment of belief and high expectations. A mentor of mine said, Jim Rowan, Go where expectations are high. You know, you, you, you can't be an eagle if you're hanging around with turkeys in the pub. You know, no disrespect to anybody, but we are some of the five people we spend most of our time with. And I talk about this in more depth in a, in a program of mine called Elastic Attitude. It was an audio program I, I created a few years ago now to donate, you know, uh, all proceeds to charity. And we did that. And I was really passionate about doing that. And, and, and that was something. That was my reason why it was a goal I set many years ago to become good enough, to become um, able enough to learn enough so that I could give value without need of compensation. And do you know what? I talk about the power of association in a little bit more depth in that program. But do you know what? Passionate people understand the power of association. Passionate people, guys, we love to grow and develop. You see, when we talk about association for a moment, do you know our beliefs? Uh, and again, I talk about this in many parts of, you know, you can discover throughout my websites. But when, when, when we look at belief, we live our lives by our daily beliefs. And then beliefs have been, you know, they're very much it's like the inside creates the outside. And, and what happens is throughout our life, we're conditioned through our environment. We're conditioned through other people's beliefs. Well, as we hit a, a, an older age, we get that strength where we start to make our own decisions. And, and passionate people understand that they choose their environment. They choose the environment they're in and how they feed their mind. Do you know what we know if we ate a McDonald's, and that, I hope they won't sue me for this, but if we ate a McDonald's every day for 30 days, it's not going to be great for our health. We know that. We know the philosophy of an apple a, a day keeps a doctor away. You know, we know all these simple things. We know we should drink X amount of water. Do you know what? What we feed ourselves is what we become. 
So not just our bodies, but our minds, our most powerful muscle in our body. And passionate people love to learn, love to grow and love to develop. You see, we're always looking for ways to learn. We're always looking of ways to improve ourselves, improve our surroundings, improve our contribution. And, and passionate people, I guess, keep that kind of childlike wonder about life. You know, my little girls are just always passionate about learning. Joe, you know, they're five and eight and they, they take my breath away with their, the way they live their lives from their heart, the way they believe they can do anything, the way they have a can-do attitude, the way they're passionate about, you know, creating things and giving them to people as gifts, you know, and they've just got this wonder about life. They want to know things, learn things, and, and passionate people keep that childlike wonder. We're always learning, always growing, always experiencing and squeezing every drop out of life as possible because life is for living. We must develop a passion. We must have a yearning for learning. And with this, we will never cease to grow. Do you know what? We live in a changing world. We never stand in the same place twice. Do you know we live in a world that's forever growing, forever changing? And do you know what? We are human beings. And we are built to grow. We are built to grow. It's what we're there for. Our capacity of the inside is there to develop, to grow and to give more. And finally, one of the seven habits of passionate people, passionate people savor the journey. You see, too many people, too many people focus on the destination and the results and the required compensation For me, satisfaction comes from loving what you do and enjoying the ride. You know, it's about enjoying the journey. Success is, you know, it's experience. It's enjoying the day. I mean, you know, ask anyone passionate and excited about what they're doing and you'll discover it's the doing. It's the process that's more thrilling than the result. Because, you know, we always get a result. Regardless of what we do, there's always a result. It might not be the result we need. It might not be the result we desire. It may not be the result we set a goal for. But I tell you what, it's the process that is key. Because when you can remove compensation, when you can remove the need for results, and when you can focus on the pursuit, when you can focus on the process, on the journey, on the giving, on the contribution, when you can focus on being your best, being your best in all you do, when you can focus on having a a great day, if you set out to do X, Y, and Z today, do you know what, go out and do it with passion and purpose, and at the end of each day, it always falls back to just you and the man looking in the mirror, do you know what, how very true is that, so it's about you being proud of what you do on a daily basis. It's about you being proud of the process, the journey, and the contribution. You see, it's the joy of pursuit that I believe unleashes your passion and purpose rather than the thrill of success. It's the pursuit that unleashes your passion and purpose. And do you know what? Passionate people give value without need of compensation. Guys, I really do hope you've enjoyed this little sort of launch show and I wanted to share with you these seven habits of highly passionate people, people that are passionate about contribution, making a difference and and enjoying the process. And I hope that this show and all the shows to follow through, you know, speaking to, you know, worldwide leaders, millionaires, billionaires, people that have a passion of contribution, people that have a passion that's greater than themselves. And that's something I want you to make a note of. Your passion, your purpose has to be greater than yourself. And and I believe if you can be focused on that, I believe if you can unleash your passions and I hope this show, I hope my contribution to you and the contributions of my friends and colleagues from all over the world can really make a difference in unleashing your passion because I believe we should live on purpose. I believe we should live with passion and I've discovered there's two kinds of people in this world, people who are on purpose and people who seem rather purposeless. So I really do challenge you to get on purpose get passionate. You know, this is one of those black and white situations, I guess. You either have a purpose, it gets you out of bed excited in the morning, or you don't. So spend some time on yourself. Do you know what? There's an array of information out there, and I'm going to be bringing you regular shows, regular insights, regular habits from highly 
passionate entrepreneurs, successful people in their fields that I know can enable you to have confidence and motivation to stand on the shoulders of giants and go out with a two arms, two legs. If they can, I can philosophy. And I hope these shows help you discover your purpose and get you out of bed on purpose and with passion each and every day. Have a fantastic day and thanks for being on today's show. If you enjoyed today's show, we would appreciate it if you would like. Most people share through social media. Then subscribe, rate and provide a review over at iTunes and SoundCloud. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us. The Passion to Succeed show is brought to you by passiontosucceed.com. Get over to the website, subscribe and join the community of passionate people. Thank you.